In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through five simple steps you can take to get your finances on track. Hey everybody, I'm James Canole, founder of Root Financial, and I'm here to teach you how to get the most out of life with your money. Getting your finances in order can quickly become overwhelming. How do you budget? How much should you save for retirement? Should you do Roth or pre-tax? How many more years until you can retire? The questions are endless. So today, I wanna to give you a simple framework where when you apply this framework, you'll be well on your way to understanding what you need to do to be on track for your goals. This framework can be understood in five simple steps. And number one is get clear on your values. Now you might be saying, James, what on earth does that have to do with finances? I need direction. Should I save 15% or 10%? Should I do my Roth 401k or traditional 401k? Well, if we don't first understand our values, we're missing it. The goal of money isn't to be a thing in and of itself. The goal of money is to allow us to pursue the things that are most important to us, but in order to do that right, we need to get clear on our values. Values could simply be things like time with family, time in community, time in relationships with friends and family. These are the things that we need to start with. Of what is it that we're actually trying to pursue? Because then once we understand that, then we can align our finances in a way that allows us to best do so. So this doesn't need to be very complicated. Just think, between friendships, family, adventure, different things, what's most important to you? Take 10 seconds and write that down. And as you're doing so, comment below. What's the most important three or four things to you? Understand what those are, and would love to see those comments because as we start to understand what's most important to you, then we can move to step number two. Step number two is to set goals around those values. What's the difference here? Well, the goal is almost like the quantification of that value. Let's say my value, my number one value, for example, is spending time with family. Well, that's a wonderful value, but a horrible goal. How do I know if I'm on track for that goal? A goal should be taking that value and quantifying it in a way so I can understand if I'm pursuing it in the way I want to. Let's keep it super basic. Maybe I wanna make sure that I'm taking two trips with my family every single year. That's a goal. Take two vacations with the family. A goal could also be as simple as saying every single Tuesday night, we're gonna do family game night. A goal could also be every single Saturday morning, I'm gonna go on a walk with my parents, my daughter's grandparents, and we're gonna make that part of our routine. So the goal is taking that thing that you say is your value, and it's putting some context around it, or it's putting some guardrails around it, of saying, can we quantify what this looks like? Is there a simple way to say, are we on track for this goal or not? So once we have these goals, then we'll back into the financial side, but start clean slate. Before looking at things like your IRA balance or your income or anything else like this, what are those goals? Freedom and independence, what does that look like? Is there a certain age by which you'd like to be financially independent? Time with family, what does that look like? I gave some examples. Time with friends, what does that look like? Is there a Friday morning breakfast you do with your best friends? Is there a certain time of the week that you're gonna to get together with that special friend group to ensure that you're doing something to maintain that interaction? Sometimes it feels odd to try to quantify these things that we just hope to be normal expressions of our life, but life gets busy. And if we're not setting some goals around these things, we tend to let some of these things fall by the wayside as we get busy with work and other responsibilities of life. So step number two is framing those goals or setting those goals to make sure that we're taking those values and we're putting them in a quantifiable form. Step number three is understand your cash flow. Well, what is cash flow? Cash flow is just the movement of money in and out of your life. So the movement of money into your life, that would be income. So typically this is gonna be our salary. If you're retired, this might be things like social security, pensions, or portfolio withdrawals. That's the inside. The money out of our life, moving out of our life, those are expenses. So cash flow is just understanding what's coming in and then where is it going out? Now, as you look at that, ideally you know, high level categories, where money is actually going. At a minimum, you need to make sure that you understand how much is going towards fixed expenses, kind of necessary expenses for life. How much of it's going towards discretionary expenses and how much is going towards savings and investments. If we at least start to understand those at a high level, ideally we can then dig in from there to see where's money actually going. Well, why is this important? This is important because if I say that my value is time with family, and my goal is two trips with my family per year, but then I look at my cash flow, and I'm spending more money on my car payment and golf with friends, and I don't have enough to afford those vacations, 
well, is family really my value? Or am I just saying it's my value, but then spending on things that are more convenient or more aligned with what I actually want to do with? So as we start to understand our cash flow, we get a real sense for what are we saying we value, but where's our money actually going? There's a saying that says, show me your calendar and your bank statement, and I'll show you what you really value. Understanding our cash flow really shows us what we really value. Are we doing things intentionally because they're important to us and we value them? Or are we just spending money and we're doing so in a haphazard way because we're just not being intentional about things? We're not really focused on where money's going. So the goal of understanding your cash flow is to understand what's coming in and then what's going out and how much are we saving and how much are we spending on different things. And then you can start to understand where the gaps between what you said is valuable and what your goals are and what you're actually doing. Step number four then is know your numbers. Now your numbers is kind of broad, but it's things like how much do you have in cash in taxable investment accounts? How much do you have in retirement accounts? How much do you have in home equity? Really get an understanding of your assets, your liabilities, your insurance coverages, the different things that make up your financial life. And what you'll start to see here is you're building a foundation of what do we value? How do we quantify that in a way to understand if we're truly valuing it or not? Number three, understanding our cash flow so we can understand is our money going to support those things that we value, both short term and long term? And then number four, where do we stand today with our financial assets, with our liabilities, with all the things that may make up our balance sheet or a net worth statement? And we do that because step number five is make the appropriate adjustments. Yes, that's broad. Yes, that's not saying specifically save more or less to retirement. It's not saying specifically how to budget or what to do with taxes. But once you start to understand those goals that you have based upon the values that you have, once you start to understand your cash flow and where things are today, you'll start to notice gaps. Okay, my goal is early retirement, but I look at my numbers and I don't have nearly enough money in my investment accounts to retire early. Or my goal is time with family, but I'm not spending any money in terms of funding those trips or even funding fun play dates with kids or with spouse. So as we start to do this, you're gonna to start to notice some of the gaps that exist between what you say you want to be able to do and what's actually happening. So whether it's a short-term goal, the things you wanna be spending money on regularly, this could be things like activities with friends, time with family, charitable giving that you wanna do, or maybe it's long-term goals of saving for financial independence, saving for kids or grandkids, college, saving for that home that you want to purchase. As you start to understand your cash flow and your numbers today, and as you compare that to the goals and the values that you have, you'll start to notice those gaps. Now there's plenty of videos on this channel alone where you can start to understand how do I do a better job of saving for retirement? How do I understand how to budget in a way that allows me to do these things in the short term? But as we look at financial planning, all of financial planning can be summed up in these five steps of starting with your values, quantify those into goals, understand your cash flow, money moving in and out, understanding your numbers, and then making the appropriate adjustments. It's a continuous process of we constantly coming back to what we want life to look like. And then are we ending with what tweaks and adjustments do we need to make to our portfolio, our investments, our financial plan to make sure that we're doing that. Now, if you're thinking this sounds awesome, but James, I really want more guidance on how to do this. Well, check out the Retirement Planning Academy. The Retirement Planning Academy is an online course I created to help walk through just this. If this is too high level or this is too vague or you want step-by-step -step instructions of how do I understand if I'm on track to retirement? How can I look to invest better? How can I look to save money on taxes? How can I look to put all this together in one cohesive strategy? The Retirement Planning Academy was designed to help you do just that. You can see a link below in the notes here. You'll see a link in the resources, but that's a place where you can take these principles and apply it in a way where I'll walk you through step-by-step step the things you need to do, give you access to the technology you need, the spreadsheets and the tools that you need to create this plan for yourself, and it's all available now in the Retirement Planning Academy. So I hope that framework is helpful. Where do you even start when it comes to planning your finances? If you want more specific direction, check out the Retirement Planning Academy for more. And if you want more helpful videos of how do you plan for your retirement, be sure to check out the video here. Once again, I'm James Knoll, founder of Root Financial. And if you're interested in seeing how we help our clients at Root Financial get the most out of life with their money, be sure to visit us at www.rootfinancialpartners.com.